it's Amy with ExpressionsVinyl.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the weld feature on Silhouette if you're not familiar with it. Um, it helps group things together and helps you um, reduce any unnecessary cuts when you combine images or fonts text together. So if you look right here this is a project that I made using the weld feature and I made a wreath and that's what I'm going to show you how to weld on Silhouette so we'll just head over there. Okay, so we are here on Silhouette, and this is just one way that you can use the weld feature. Um, I'm going to show you how I made a wreath using this leaf. So I found this image on Google, and it's fairly simple to use. So we're going to go right here and make a circle, and I'm just going to make it um, fairly big. That way I can see what I'm doing. You don't need to worry about resizing this right now. Um, we're going to do that. You can do that um, once you're done making your wreath. So I'm just going to place it right in the center and have it horizontal because it would look um, it would look awkward if it was vertical. So we're going to select this and go to the replicate tab right here on the right-handed side toolbar, and we're going to click the show grab handle button, and it's going to pop up right here, right in the middle of the circle on the leaf and it's going to highlight so I'm just going to click or you can double click and replicates will pop up so it looks overwhelming to see that many but it's super easy to fix so if you go right here to the number of repeats um, I'm just going to select 11 I played around with a little bit and figured that 11 is a good number and I liked how it looks but you can use any number of repeats that you like depending on what you want your project to look like so then you're going to click release copies and we're going to remove the circle that we started with and just delete that because we don't need that anymore. So right here you can see that they overlap and that's what we're going to fix with the weld feature. So I'm just going to select this and you can do one of two things. You can right click and select weld and you can see that those cut lines are all gone and now it's just one image. You don't need a group. It's good to go. Or you can go to the Modify tab and click Weld that way. And then this would be a good time where you can resize it to whatever you want your project to be. And that's just one way that you can use the Weld feature to make your project one image and remove any extra cut lines that you need. So I'll show you an example of what it looks like cutting it if we didn't use the Weld button. So we'll head over there. Okay, so first um, I wanted to show you what it looked like if I didn't use the welding feature. So right here I have the wreath and right now it looks like it's all put together. But if you look closely, you can see where those extra line cuts showed up. And I'm just going to go ahead and weed, weed it just to show you what it looks like. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> okay, so they might be a little bit small, but at the same time it's easier just to have your image be all one so you're not worrying about little pieces to weed out. So you can kind of, so right there you could see that these are the extra cut lines that the silhouette machine um, cut through. But with the weld feature, it made it all one image and we didn't have to worry about that. So that was really nice. It's a really good feature. You can use it for pretty much anything that you want to put together so you don't have those extra cut lines. Oh,